Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about dental burr. Removal and shaping of the structure is an important aspect of restorative dentistry. So what are dental burrs? The term burr is applied to all the rotary cutting instruments that have a bladed cutting heads. So coming on to the history, the earliest burr were handmade. The first machine made burrs were introduced in 1891. The carbide burrs were introduced in 1947. And in 1897, Wildman and Schroeder were credited with making the first diamond dental burr. So now we will discuss about the steel burrs. The early burrs were made of steel. So how the steel burrs were made? Uh, basically the steel burrs are cut from blank steel stock by means of a rotary cutter that cuts parallel to the long axis of the burr. And then the burr is tempered until its wicker's hardness number is approximately 800. Uh, these steel burrs cut human dentine uh, well at low speed, but at higher speed uh, or while cutting uh, the enamel, they get rapidly dull because uh, of the increased heat and vibration production. Next is the carbide burr. These burrs are stiffer and stronger than the steel burr. And at all speed, these burrs perform much better than that of the steel burrs. How these burrs are made, this uh, carbide burr or, uh, or the tungsten carbide burr, how they are made? These uh, tungsten carbide burr are the product of powder metallurgy that is a process of alloying in which complete fusion of the constituent does not occur. What happens here? The tungsten carbide powder is mixed with powder cobalt under pressure and it is heated in a vacuum because of which partial alloying or sintering takes place. And after that a metal uh, blank is formed and the burr is cut from that using a diamond tool. And this cutting is much better controlled than that of the cutting of steel burrs. And these covered burrs have a uh, wicker hardness number of uh, 1650 to 1700. All right. And these were uh, one of the important features is that they are less prone to dull during cutting. Now coming on to the classification of the burr. According to the composition, they are classified as stainless steel and the tungsten carbide. We have discussed about uh, these two and according to their mode of attachment to the handpiece, they may be latch type or they may be friction grip type. Here we can see this is uh, this type of bird is having a latch type attachment to the handpiece and these are friction grip type. Next according to the length of their head, they are long, short and the regular and according to their motion, uh, they are classified as right burr and left burr. A right burr is the one which cuts when it revolves clockwise. A left burr is the one which cuts when revolving anticlockwise. According to the shapes, they may be round burr, wheel burr, inverted cone, plain cylindrical fissure burr, cross cut cylindrical fissure, plain tapered fissure burr, and cross cut tapered fissure burr. And at last, the pear shape burr and the end cutting burrs. So this is a round burr. So here we can see it is spher spherical in shape and uh, they are uh, basically used for initial entry into the tooth and for extension of the preparation. They are also used for removal of the caries. Next we have the wheel burr. The wheel burr, they are used, basically used for gross removal of the tooth structure and also for placing the grooves. Uh, this is inverted cone burr. As here we can see, the apex of the cone is directed toward the um, bird shank. And these are um, used for cavity extensions and occasionally for establishing wall angulation and for retentive features. They also they are also used for providing the undercuts. 
नेक्स्ट हेयर वी कैन सी द क्रॉस कट सिलेंड्रिकल फिशर बट बर्ड्स सो दिस क्रॉस कट सिलेंड्रिकल फिशर बर्ड्स हेयर वी कैन सी दिस द बर्ड हैड इज हैविंग एडिशनल कट वी कैन ईजली मेक आउट द एडिशनल कट्स इन द ब्लेड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ विच दे आर मोर एफिशेंट इन कटिंग प्रोसेस एंड कटिंग इज ऑल्सो मच ईजियर बिकॉज देर इज लेस डेबरी बिल्ड अप और राइट सो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर डेट डिस्टिंग्विश दिस क्रॉट्स कट बर्ड्स फ्रॉम द अदर बर्ड्स एज दे कंटेन मोर नंबर ऑफ द कट्स इन दर ब्लेड और राइट सो द क्रॉस कट सिलेंड्रिकल फिशर बर्ड्स दे आर दे कैन कट आई द पैलेट टू द लॉन्ग एक्सेस ऑफ द बर्ड और ऑब्लिकली and they are used for grass cutting and for cavity extensions and creation of the walls next is a plain tapered fisher bird uh their their number as 168 and 169 uh, they have a tapered cylindrical head as you can make out here and they uh, the teeth can be either straight or spiral and they are used for tooth preparation for indirect restoration basically and like in in lays case uh, we use these bird and these are the cross cut tapered fisher bird here we can see they have got additional cuts in the blade for easier cutting and less debris build up next is the pear shaper uh, these are used basically in periodontics basically and here we have the end cutting bars uh, in the diagram here we can see these are cylindrical in shape with just the end carrying the blade so uh, they are very efficient in extending the preparation apically without any axial reduction all right so this is all about uh, these birds and now coming out to the basic bird head shape the same this is a round bird inverted cone the pear shape the straight fisher and the tapered fisher so this is all about the dental